Whew. It has been an eventful weekend. We did a street performing thing on Saturday, which I got almost no video of on account of it was pouring down rain and also because I was operating a guitar basically the whole time. But also on Saturday, even cooler, actual topic of this podcast. It's not comic books. I went to a superhero wedding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. Yep. This is their wedding favor, my friends. Darren and Robin, who are amazing. Uh, you may have seen Darren at last year's Headshots. He was one of our morning hosts. <laughs> They're full of these, like, big, huge feelings where people, like, pledge their lives together. And everybody sort of feels attached to that because everybody is attached to that. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. I mean, it's, a wedding is a thing where you make a family. And I mean, lots of, when people say that, lots of people mean, you know, oh, you're going to go on and have kids, but... What you are doing is literally bringing two families together and being like, you guys are family now, deal with it. What you're doing is sort of gathering together all the people who are hopefully going to support you and, you know, care care for you for the rest of your lives. And, I mean, with Darren and Robin especially, a lot of that was family, but a lot of it was the sort of family of friends. Yeah. I want to acknowledge those that were probably more responsible for making this day happen than they even realize. And that really is all of you, everyone here. Each of you has played a part in bringing us all here together today. At family gatherings, we learned what it meant to be family. And through years of guidance, to become young adults. And then on to discover a larger family of friends in the world around us, a family who would influence our lives in ways that may have seemed small at the time, but each experience would help to shape our lives. Uh, I also love it because you get to dress up and look cool. Uh, it was a superhero theme, so all, the, all of the groomsmen were resplendent in their superhero suits. Uh, not literal suits, but, like, I guess actually literal suits, because they, you know, they had sort of the color-coordinated dress-up superheroes. We had all kinds of superheroes in the audience, including... Hawkeye and Iron Man and at least one Clark Kent and probably a few Johnny Thunders. At least my claim is that they were Johnny Thunders and I'm just, I didn't ask because I mean I didn't want to bring the whole genie thing to their attention. But, yeah, all kind of, I mean, there's speeches at weddings and the nice thing about weddings, I guess it's because I've never been to a bad wedding. I know that they happen, I've seen them on television but Everybody is sort of in their speeches and their words and they talk about how much these people matter to them. How much they care about each other and how cool they are. And uh, I really just sort of want everybody to get married all the time. Not actually, it's really expensive and it's a lot of work. But figuratively, there's worse attitudes to have. But I will leave you guys with some awesome footage from Darren and Robin's wedding, which I took and which they told me I could use... But I didn't tell them what for. Anyway, I will see you guys on Thursday with the finale of the Bioshock Infinite playthrough. The long-awaited finale. Long-awaited by me because I'm so bored of that game. I have shot so many mans in the face. So many mans. And next week we're going to mess around a bit. Uh, we might start some Minecraft videos soon now that we got the Minecraft server back up. And I think I'm going to play Shadows of Mordor. Because it's rad. Uh, if you have a game that you think I should play, put it in the show notes. Or put it in the show notes. You can't put it in the show notes. You can't control me. Put it in the comments. That's what I mean. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. It's late. Way back in the beginning of the relationship, I overheard Robin describe Darren as a keeper. <laughs> she said it to her, her sister or to one of her friends. Well, that, that reminded me, of course, of, uh, 
I knew sort of immediately what a keeper was, because when I was a kid, I would go down to the river and fish for the afternoon. And, uh, were not that large, they were of good quality, they got thrown back in the water to grow up, I guess. But once, but once in a while, a large speckled trout might come through, and if, we, and if we could net that and bring it ashore, we knew exactly that that was a keeper. <laughs> <laughs>